BrainWise presents Grade 2, Science Quiz B, Part 3 Hello, brilliant minds! It's time to test your science smarts! 20 questions stand between you and science glory! Are you ready to take on the challenge? Number 1. What do plants give us that we can eat? Again, what do plants give us that we can eat? The choices are A. Rocks B. Fruits and vegetables C. Toys D. Clouds The correct answer is B. Fruits and vegetables Number 2 which of these is a way plants help us breathe? Again, which of these is a way plants help us breathe? The choices are A. They make noise B. They clean the air C. They make toys D. They fly The correct answer is B. They clean the air. Number 3. What do plants need from the soil to grow well? Again, what do plants need from the soil to grow well? The choices are A. Toys B. Nutrients C. Music D. Books The correct answer is B. Nutrients Number 4. What do we use plants for when we are sick? Again, what do we use plants for when we are sick? The choices are A. Food B. Medicine C. Toys D. Cars The correct answer is B. Medicine Number 5. What do leaves use sunlight for? Again, what do leaves use sunlight for? The choices are A. To drink water B. To make food C. To make noise D. To fly The correct answer is B. To make food Number 6. What do we need to give plants to help them grow in a garden? Again, what do we need to give plants to help them grow in a garden? The choices are A. Love and care B. Loud music C. Video games D. Junk food The correct answer is A. Love and care Fantastic job so far! You're showing your science skills! Take a quick moment to refresh! And let's jump back into the quiz! Number 7. What do plants take in from the air to make food? Again, what do plants take in from the air to make food? The choices are A. Oxygen B. Carbon dioxide C. Nitrogen D. Helium The correct answer is B. Carbon dioxide Number 8. What do plants give us that helps us build strong bones? Again, what do plants give us that helps us build strong bones? The choices are A. Toys B. Vitamins C. Rocks D. Clouds The correct answer is B. Vitamins Number 9. Why do leaves change color in the fall? Again. 
Why do leaves change color in the fall? The choices are A. They get bored of being green B. They want to match the Halloween decorations C. The tree is getting ready for winter D. They are getting old and dying The correct answer is C. The tree is getting ready for winter. Number 10. What is the difference between a fruit and a vegetable? Again, what is the difference between a fruit and a vegetable? The choices are A. Fruits are sweet and vegetables are not. B. Fruits have seeds and vegetables do not. C. Fruits grow on trees and vegetables grow on the ground. D. Fruits are red and vegetables are green. The correct answer is B. Fruits have seeds and vegetables do not. Number 11. What is the name for a plant that lives for more than two years? Again, what is the name for a plant that lives for more than two years? The choices are A. Annual B. Biennial C. Perennial D. Centenarian The correct answer is C. Perennial Number 12 How do plants help the earth stay cool? Again how do plants help the earth stay cool? The choices are A. They wear sunglasses B. They provide shade and release water vapor C. They fan the air with their leaves D. They make ice cream The correct answer is B. They provide shade and release water vapor. Number 13. What is the name for a plant that grows on another plant for support? Again, what is the name for a plant that grows on another plant for support? The choices are A. A climber B. An epiphyte C. A parasite D. A friend The correct answer is B. An epiphyte. Number 14. Why is it important to not overwater plants? Again, why is it important to not overwater plants? The choices are A. They will get tired of swimming. B. Their roots can rot. C. They will grow too tall. D. They will cry. The correct answer is B. Their roots can rot. You're a science champion in the making! Keep your eyes on the prize and answer the remaining questions with confidence! Number 15. What is the name for a scientist who studies plants? Again, what is the name for a scientist who studies plants? The choices are A. A zoologist B. A botanist C. A geologist. D. A teacher. The correct answer is B. A botanist. Number 16. What is the name for the process of a plant growing towards the sunlight? Again. What is the name for the process of a plant growing towards the sunlight? The choices are A. Phototropism B. Geotropism C. Hydrotropism D. Sleeping The correct answer is A. Phototropism Number 17. 
What is the main function of a flower's petals? Again, what is the main function of a flower's petals? The choices are A. To protect the flower from the rain B. To attract pollinators C. To make food for the plant D. To help the plant breathe The correct answer is B. To attract pollinators Number 18 What is the name for a plant that grows in water? Again What is the name for a plant that grows in water? The choices are A. A terrestrial plant B. An aquatic plant C. An alien plant D. A flying plant The correct answer is B. An aquatic plant Number 19 Why do some plants have tendrils? Again Why do some plants have tendrils? The choices are A. To help them climb B. To protect them from animals C. To attract pollinators D. To make them look curly The correct answer is A. To help them climb Number 20 Why do some plants have hollow stems? Again Why do some plants have hollow stems? The choices are A. To store water B. To make them lighter C. To attract insects D. To make them easier to climb The correct answer is A. To store water Wow! You did it! You've shown your amazing science skills! Remember, learning is a never-ending adventure! Enjoyed the quiz? Give it a thumbs up, tell your friends, and hit that subscribe button! See you next time! You rock this quiz! Post your score and see who can beat it! Check out other videos from BrainWise.